In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We offer this Mass for Carmel and Bill Norris on their 60th anniversary. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask this Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant to Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he came to the throne, and he reigned for three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehushta, daughter of Elnathan from Jerusalem. He did what is displeasing to the Lord just as his father had done. At that time, the troops of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, marched on Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon himself, came to attack the city while his troops were besieging it. Then Jehoiakim, king of Ju Judah, surrendered to the king of Babylon. He, his mother, his officers, his nobles, and his eunuchs, and the king of Babylon took them prisoner. This was in the eighth, in, or in the eighth year of King Nebuchadnezzar. The latter carried off the treasures of the temple of the Lord and the treasures of the royal palace, and broke up all the golden furnishings that Solomon, king of Israel, had made for the sanctuary of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He carried off all of Jerusalem into exile, all the nobles and all the notables, ten thousand of these were exiled. With all the blacksmiths and metal workers, only the poorest people in the country were left behind. He deported Jehoiakim to Babylon, as also the king's mother, his eunuchs, and the nobility of the country. He made them all leave Jerusalem for exile in Babylon. All the men of distinction, 7,000 of them, the blacksmiths and the metal workers, 1,000 of them, all of them men capable of bearing arms were laid into exile in Babylon by the king of Babylon. The king of Babylon made Mataniah, Jehoiakim's uncle, king in succession to him, and changed his name to Zedekiah. Word of the Lord. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. O God, 
The nations have invaded your land. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of ruins. They have handed over the bodies of your servants as food to feed the birds of heaven and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. They have poured out blood like water in Jerusalem, leaving no one to bury the dead. We have become the taunt of our neighbors, the mockery and scorn of those who surround us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Do not rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Do not hold the guilt of our fathers against us. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we are in the depths of distress. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. O God, our Savior, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O Lord, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is something alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. When the day comes, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out demons in your name, work miracles in your name? Then I shall tell them to their faces, I have never known you. Away from me, you evil men. Therefore, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and hurled themselves again against that house, and it did not fall. It was founded on a rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and struck that house, and it fell. And what a fall it had. Jesus had now finished what he wanted to say, and his teaching made a deep impression on the people because he taught them with authority and not like their own scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. These days, this past few days, we have been hearing the first reading from the book of Kings. And these readings we have been following through with the different kings of Israel. King of Israel and how this one kingdom became two. That is Northern Kingdom Israel, Southern Kingdom Judah. How these two kingdoms were ruled by different kings and how their actions, how their actions led to their kingdoms being taken over by foreign forces. Just a few days ago, we heard about King Hezekiah. How this King Hezekiah was threatened by the Assyrian king and this King Hezekiah did not give in to the pressure from this foreign rule but stayed firm in his trust in the Lord and the Lord indeed delivered him and this under this king Hezekiah the kingdom of Judah was not taken over 
by, by the foreign rulers. And the reason being, he showed his deep faith in the Lord and not in men or not in earthly powers. Today we find another king, a uh, succeeded line, another king, we find Yehoiah king. How this king, his father and he, had strayed away from the Lord, had not remained faithful to the teachings of the Lord and indulged in actions that were not pleasing in the sight of God. And we see, we hear in this reading of today, what repercussions it had. The result was the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar took over the kingdom of Judah and Jerusalem was desecrated. People from Jerusalem were exiled into Babylon and other parts. And this is only because the king, the king did not remain faithful to the Lord. The king did not put his entire trust in the one true God. There was a time, there was a time where nothing happened, but eventually, eventually the foreign past took over. It only goes on to show that our actions have consequences. These consequences may take time to take action, but if we persist in our disobedience, if we persist in not believing in our Lord, then these will have consequences. Our actions will have consequences. And this is evident in the scriptures. We find one king is faithful to the Lord and he is delivered by the Lord. The Lord keeps up to his word. Another one is not faithful and we see how the kingdom is in ruins. My dear friends, our lives could be compared to this kingdom. Each of our lives, our life is a kingdom that is entrusted to us. And if we are to safeguard this life of ours, this kingdom of ours, we need to have entire trust in the Lord. Believe in Him amidst hard difficulties, amidst storms, that even amidst the storms, we will overcome them when we are close to our Lord. The Lord will always deliver us from every difficulty. What is needed is firm faith in our Lord. What is needed is we stay firm to the teachings of our Lord. And amidst this crisis, we will be able to overcome them. My dear friends, the consequence also is otherwise. If we are not faithful, the Lord will give us time. In the Gospels we read, that the, that the tree, the tree was not bearing fruit and the master wanted it to be cut off. But the gardener told the master, give one more year, let me work on it, it may bear fruit. But it did not bear and the tree was cut. Similarly in our lives, when we, are, when we stray away from God, when we do not obey His commandments, His teaching, the Lord allows us time to change allows us time so that we may turn back to Him. And if we do, then we save our lives. But if we persist in our actions, then these actions will bear consequences and consequences detrimental to our life. Let us take stock of our lives. Let us introspect if we have stayed firm to His teachings. Let us introspect if we have trusted in the one true God. And if we have not, let us turn back to Him. May the Lord be with us and give us His guidance and grace to be always firm and faithful to Him and His teachings. Amen. Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Bless thy Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and grace and grant that cleanse by its action. We may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ. Our Lord, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, the Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, God, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.